know your blood group and how common it is. You know, there are several blood groups. The blood that circulates in the system of man, the blood that your heart is pumping, you know, that circulates all over the body, all the systems, all the tissues, all the cells receive blood. They supply food, they supply oxygen, they take out waste, and so on. This blood, which is a fluid of life in the body of man, is of several groups, is of several types. There are four blood groups. There's blood group A, there's blood group B, there's blood group AB, and there is blood group O. A, B, AB, and O. I am going to present in this video how common the various blood groups are. And so I will begin with the most common blood group. Most common blood group that exists in the world is blood group O. A second most common blood group is group A. The third common A blood group is B, blood group B. And then the least, which is not very common, which is rare, is blood group AB. So I will discuss, you know, how common it is in this order, from the most common to the least common. Now, blood group O, maybe before going to that, there is a factor attached to the various blood groups. Every blood group has a factor that was discovered by, should I call him Dr. Resus, that is attached to every blood group. When this factor is present, we will say that this person has blood group O resus positive, meaning the resus factor is present. Some blood groups do not have it. I mean, blood groups that have this factor, they will attach the word resus positive to it, meaning that the factor of resus is present. If that factor is not there, they should also indicate negative. So there are times you hear of blood group O positive, blood group O negative, blood group A positive, blood group A negative, blood group B positive, blood group B negative, blood group AB positive, and blood group AB negative. Now, the most common is blood group O positive. That you find it in one out of three persons, representing 37.4%. The second most common blood group is blood group A positive. You know, the common blood groups are the positive, the ones that have positive resource factor. That you say blood group O resource positive. Group A, resource positive. So, so you see this, this, this ones with resource factor, positive, are the most common. But you see O comes first, blood group A positive comes second, which also occurs in one, one in every three persons. But this one representing 35.7%. Blood group B positive is, is the third common, but it occurs in one, one in 12 persons, representing 8.5%. Then blood group AB positive occurs, in fact, it's a rare one, you can see it, in one in 29 persons, making 3.4%. Now, those with negative resource factor, 
The most common is still O, blood group O negative, which occurs one in, in one, one in 15 persons, one in every 15 persons, making 6.8%. Blood group A negative occurs one in 16, every 16 persons, making 6.6%. Blood group B negative occurs in 1 in 67. See how rare it is. 1 in every 67 person, making 1.5%. Then blood group AB negative occurs 1 in every 167. 1 in every 167 person, making 0.6%. So that is very rare. My dear brothers and sisters, this information may not, may look simple. I don't need to overemphasize on its importance. As I say, if you are a parent, never allow your child, boy or girl, to get entangled in any marriage without knowing at least his he so have blood group and resource factor. Because there could also be incompatibility. This incompatibility coming from blood grouping. You will find some ladies in our communities having maybe repeated abortions, repeated miscarriages. You see some, some, somebody gets married it is very easy for pregnancy to come, but it is very difficult for them to hold that pregnancy to them to nine months and give birth to the baby and hold. Sometimes they didn't even check their blood groups before getting married. There might just be an incompatibility that they are not compatible by blood grouping. Take for example, a woman with resus negative. Let me say she's blood group O resus negative or blood group A, resus negative, or blood group B, resus negative. In a blood group, as far as the resus factor is absent, such a woman is supposed to have known before getting married that she is resus negative, so that for her to get married and make healthy babies, she should marry only a man with a resus positive. I mean, you know, only somebody with a resus negative blood group to avoid problems. However, when they both decide to get married, when they know that the man is having a blood group resus positive, but the woman is having a blood group resus negative, they know that when this man gets the woman pregnant, the baby in the womb of the mother will, 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 will take the resus positivity from the father. And so if the baby in the womb of the mother now is resus positive, the system of the mother carrying the baby is resus negative. It is going to cause serious trouble. This resus positivity that has come in a, in a baby, in a fetus that is still forming in the womb of the woman, the system of the woman sees it as an antigen. It sees it as a disease. It sees it as an enemy. It sees it as trouble. So it will sensitize the system of the mother to produce antibodies. Antibodies to fight the resource positivity in the womb. Now ask yourself, how can the system of a mother be fighting against the baby that is developing in the system of the mother? reason for which first babies, first pregnancies, in most cases, can be up to nine months and they give birth. Such first babies may live. You will hear of history of when these people got married, they have one child. After that first child, it has been difficult to have another. Very common discussion or case scenario like that. 
in most cases, my dear brothers, you don't need to go to to Susea, to Ngambe, before you suspect that there could be incompatibility at the level of blood grouping. And some now go to check and now confirm that the woman is racist negative, but the husband is racist positive. Thank God there is management, there is treatment. When we discover this, we will tell you about the drug that is used to neutralize these antibodies in the system of the mother, preventing them from destroying, from engulfing and destroying the blood of the baby forming in the womb. So, such a woman is supposed to understand that when you are racist negative and you marry a man with racist positive, they have to already prepare your mind and buy this in, in, injection. Usually very expensive. And it is advisable that they inject it to the woman within 72 hours after birth. Meaning that if a woman carries a pregnancy and they know that the woman is racist negative, she's supposed to go by this injection. anti d immunoglobulin That is the name. Very expensive in a way, but not compared to any life. When we say expensive to some people, there are few friends. If in Cameroon, yeah, sometimes this can go up to 50,000 francs CFA and even sometimes more. Yet, sometimes could come right down to, to 30,000 something. It doesn't matter. What matters is the knowledge you have. If you need it, you will go for it to stay healthy, to make healthy babies. So, all racist negative women, you better check well, understand the man you are marrying, and possibility of you having baby in your womb that could be racist positive. Your system will fight it. But when first babies stay up to nine months, the reason is always very clear, even simple. That the body takes some time producing the antibodies, producing the antibodies. As months are passing, the antibodies are increasing. By the time the antibodies have reached a peak that they can strike, it is already more than nine months. And so most of the first babies have survived. But when the baby is born, some may finally come out and end in the nursery because they may be coming out when they, there's already effect on their, on their bloodstream, a lot of breakdown on blood, red blood cells and so on. And some, some may come out with jaundice, some may come out. Yes, but most of those first babies survive. When they are supposed to now inject this anti-immunoglobulin after delivery, and early enough, we say within 72 hours, so that they will be able to calm down, weaken down these antibodies that are full in the system, so that they get back to barest minimum, so that the woman has opportunity to get pregnant again before another set of antibodies start building, building, before it's nine months, baby is out, they inject another to kill the antibodies. When you have this knowledge, it is more than power. It is more than power. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Dr. David Ayim. I am in Cameroon. I'm in Bamenda, Cameroon. You are a reproductive health expert. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe now. Like and share. Make your comments. If you want to talk with me one on one, the contact 694 35 3141. If you are not in Cameroon, always start with plus 237. Only messages or even a voicemail. Not calls, please. Thank you. Bye.